So about open road designer um, annotation. So first of all, we need to understand now all the uh, annotations related to features. For this, for example, this case, the level that I create by compass by element is using a geometry uh, baseline. You are recommend to use all the uh, features under the alignment for better uh, uh, classification. So after you create the geometry baseline, you can always go to the drum, uh, drum production and then you will see the annotate elements and then just select the elements, right click, then you will got the annotations here. So there's a requirement about the station here. There's a, some station they want to change. For example, they want to change the uh, station annotation here. They want to change the uh, all the uh, minor station here. So how to do it? If you understand the features concept nowadays, so you can have a look uh, in the file explorer, open row standard. You expand the standards. Go to active. Uh, files, of course, later all the change you can do in the library as well. The library will store in the workspace, you can keep in the organization levels or, or your project level as well. So you can expand about it, you will see the feature annotation and all the DGN library that you have. So for this case, I just simply need to use in this active lab files. So first of all, as we remember, we are doing the feature definition here. So I'm using a geometry baseline. And in the geometry baseline, you can also find the um, corresponding group called annotation group here. You can see the plan, linear, that's a cost stationing. So right click here, if I manage, you will see there's all the settings about the stationing here that you can control. So uh, for example, in this case, I just want to simply change the, um, the uh, I want to create my own group. So maybe I just simply click, right click, copy, paste another one. In here, I will rename it. I will call it, it's called, for example, it's called JP station name in this case. So I, later I will just change JP stationing as well. So back to the um, geometry, if you still remember, that uh, in the geometry, I click right click properties. You will see which uh, which kind of the uh, feature symbol they're using. So in this case, you go to the geometry, linear alignment geometry here. You will see the annotation group in plan now is using a stationing, but I just changed the new one, so I changed the JP station. So that you will apply any change about JP station. So let's start from here. So my first requirement is about the uh, the station and the major labels that I need to create here. So first of all, I will go to the left hand side in the manage annotation. So make sure you're using a JP station. So you can go to the station location, you expand it, you can see whether it's a hundred or you skip the value here. So it is now the major is hundred. If you want the labels for the minimum is 20, for example, I'll just click to mini, uh, station take mini, uh, minus, sorry, minus. So I just change to like, I want the 20, skip all the 100 because I'm in the majors already here. So I just sk skip it and ch change the minus into 20. So you will assume in, you will see a lot of change already. But if you're not changing the joint unless you dismiss it. So after you dismiss it, then you will see the minor symbols become 20 here. So another case, uh, we can continue to do it. I just go to uh, manage the label in major. So you can see here, if you want the major uh, symbol have a prefix, you can do it here. For example, I want to, the, uh, sorry, I want the label here label of the major here. I want it, for example, it's called um, STA. So I just click STA, it's called station or CH if you want. So you can simply see here, if I close it, again in preview, you will see it. If I close it, then you will see STA here. So even I have uh, some uh, exception cases here, 
I want my label is called NO, I mean number. You can also say it's number and give space enter. So nowadays, if I close it, you see it is NO here. So in this case, now if I want to change the stationing here, so I can simply go to uh, the uh, light geometry. I want to check the uh, star station. So I just easily go to modify star station. I want to make it 1000. I just select it, click the start, and then it will automatically change as well. So it is how, how it do. So my next case here is for the uh, some of the um, a requirement from the user. They don't want number one thousand. They may just want uh one thousand becomes a ten number ten for example like this. So how can we do here? If we go back to the manage to the uh, now I, I still go to the label majors. You will see all the text will control by this major station favorite. So again, how to make it? I just go back to the paste text. If you have the paste text function, so I go to paste text. I go to uh, insert the labels. I just go to the open plan pan annotation. I will select the point here. This means it will display. So I will select this one. So before 100, it will, it will present it. Deselect the diameters, press size. I use a position zero, click OK. Then you will store one here. So I just right click. I click uh, save text favorite. OK, just click enter for example. OK, something like this. So uh, remember, you, you change back. OK, or if you have this one, okay. So I just uh, rename this one as a light. I just give the names called SPN Major Major Station. For example, here. So after I create this one, I can go always go back to the station in here. I just click Manage again, and then you go to Labels, and then you will see the major station here. I just select it. JPN major station. Okay, so if you zoom in, you will see there's a they, they change a lot. So it, it change. I just get dismissed. So you change. It's a ten. Okay, eleven, twelve, etc. So I have one more case about the uh, tech mark. Now it's a line. If you want to do a dumbbell or other point, like I would just want to point, you can create your own cell by using a cell library here. So I just simply uh, create a single cell library. Okay, here it's called JPM point. So I just deselect the, uh, make it become a cell. Make it can be placed as annotation cell. I just dismiss off. You can make it become a point so that it will be a single color here. So afterward, I will copy the files to the open rows uh, default workspace. It should be in open row CE configuration, current configuration civil, civil uh, default standard metric cell. Okay, this is the folder here. Of course, if like us, we have do something like Hong Kong standard, uh, Singapore standard, Indonesia standard, you can also do the same thing and put it in the standard folder as well. Uh, again, you can also add a new cell in the existing uh, cell library, but of course you can customize your own one always. So after uh, going back to the um, uh, Open Rule Designer, the next thing you need to do is just go back to the annotator station. So again, I just need to control the station tick mark. Uh, it's for the minus, so in this case it's minus. So I just simply uh, go downstairs, you will see there's a cell, so I just click uh, I will call the, the cell name that I just make it. So it is called JPN point. Just, I just click JPN point. So after the JPN point, you see the XYZ scale is all here. And then I don't want it. Uh, okay, why is not changed? Because uh, now the annotate is with the line. I just want to in the cell. So it will change in the cell here. But the cell still uh, have offset because in the placement it's offset. So I just simply 
kick zero to control it so it becomes a zero so if I go back to the drawing so you will see it becomes all zero it's about the drawing how to change it so at the end of the day so if you want to uh, annotate, import it in your DJ library of course you can do a new DJ library all the time so, or you can simply export these annotation settings to what we call annotation definition and import it back to another DGN library so that it's easy for you to control.